Good morning, everyone. Um, it's a beautiful Friday morning. Just got my haircut. Um, and I wanted to uh, discuss a, a quick uh, subject with you guys today and share with you guys um, one of my most prized possession, um, a certificate that I have. And I'll show it to you at the end. Um, but I wanted to um, talk to you today about uh, some of the training that I've gone through. Um, I'm a good teacher, but I'm a very good student. And I'm always seeking out other knowledge. And some of my past is I've been through training with some life coaching um, experiences and life training courses like the EST that I went to, one of the oldest ones, that I went through PSI, um, which is, PSI, which is uh, people synergistically involved. That I went through Life Spring and Forum and these are all wonderful, wonderful experiences. But I want to talk to you about one of them. I remember in Life Spring, we took a basic course, which was like four days, and we took an advanced course, which was five days. And recently, um, you know, I reached out to them again, and I wanted to uh, kind of go over the courses again, and they, they recommended me <clears throat> to take the mastery course, which I didn't know anything about. And... Uh, I remember in the basic course and, and, and the advanced course, there was a lot of um, drilling on who I am, who I am, who I am, and our behavior and what to do. And one of the uh, um, things that I really clearly remember um, was when somebody's late, um, they would just drill you. I mean, they would just drill you if you, even for, if you were a few seconds late sitting on a chair. And this was a little bit less in advanced course, but in the beginner's course, it was very important. And, and, and it got to a point that people were almost, including me, were almost like waiting for someone to be late. And they're like, oh, my God, they're going to tear this guy apart. And they would ask him questions and, you know, go through some stuff. And, you know, um, I instead of looking at that person being me, I always looked down on them like, oh, my God, I can't believe they did this. I can't believe they're doing this, you know. Anyway. So um, I registered for the advanced course, for the advanced course, and I went through it. It was wonderful. And the mastery. I remember going to the mastery class. And I remember right before um, walking in, I was late. I probably like 30 seconds, maybe a minute late. And I, as soon as I walked in, I knew I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to get it. Right, I'm, they're gonna go off, and all these emotions came out. And I never forget this moment where the teacher didn't even notice me that I was late. I sat down, went through the first hour and a half of the training, which was wonderful, but that one little thing bugged me like, oh. Bugged me at the same time made me like, oh, I got away with it. Like, they didn't notice. They're not going to drill me. And um, so after an hour and a half, I actually um, reached out to the coach. And I said, coach, I just want to let you know, I don't know if I did that in the name of confessing my sin or I just wanted to be a good student, like let him know that I know and for whatever reason. I told him that I was late and I want to acknowledge that. Again, I don't know what my motive in that moment was, but I did. And it's the funniest thing and the best experience is that the coach put his arm around me, said, my friend, if you cannot manage your time over being on time, and more importantly, control the conversations that you had in the last hour and a half, about being late and carrying that in your head and moving it around and massaging it and making yourself look good in front of me right now. If you cannot do that and manage your time, this is the first one, my friend, you're in the wrong class. This is a mastery class. And I remember I, would, I just stood there thinking like, whoa, like, what, what, what just happened, you know? Because I expected the, the stuff before, you know? Anyway, that's one of the defining moments where I um, wanted to stop 
being called a master of anything. And I remember um, in my basic course, advanced course, we always got a certificate of completion, which was wonderful. Just loved having it. Loved that piece of paper. And I wanted to share with you guys today uh, a piece of certificate that's in my office. And it has been in my office for a long time. And some people come and ask me about it, you know, once in a while when they notice. Otherwise, they don't really notice. But it's just for me. Um, so I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see this is my actual certificate of completion of the mastery course. That's right. It's a blank white paper rolled up in a beautiful blue ribbon. Beautiful. And I think it was in that minute that I got it. Now listen to me carefully. I can tell you what we did in mastery course, but I'm not supposed to. But I'm going to tell you what it comes, came down to, summarize it. Between stimulus and response, between what happens to me and how I re react to it, there is a space. And that space lies my freedom to choose. Lies my freedom, not my liberty. Because liberty is doing what you want to do when you want to do it. And this is a beautiful country. We, have, we all have liberty. But freedom, my friend... Freedom lies in that one little space. What happens to us, how we react to it. And that was the course about mastery. And so when I hear people say, I'm a master of this, master of that, and I see them respond poorly in their everyday life in the most smallest things, not big things, small things, I, I, you know, I used to notice that a lot about other people, till I st even st I noticed that that was a, a a trap by itself. I stopped noticing. I don't, I don't it really. It doesn't matter to me what other people do, but what matters to me goes back to me and say, what am I? What am I using? Am I working on my muscle between these two, or am I sometimes drinking the poison, hoping somebody else would die? Somebody makes me mad. Somebody does something to me. Am I really drinking that poison and praying to God and hoping they would die? I don't know. So that was my lesson I wanted to share with you. I'm going to go get the phone right now and uh, wish you guys a great weekend. Bye.